Hello everyone, what is up? It is your girl Safai Kelly here with you today, your makeup bestie. I cannot believe that Halloween is right around the corner, but not to worry, because I have two very easy looks that you can achieve with makeup that you probably already have in your collection. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the two looks that we'll be doing today is a devil look and a skull look. But before we even get into that, let's do a quick easy eye look that you can use for either one of these makeup looks. For eyeshadow today, I will be using the Eloise Goddess palette. So the first shade I'm taking is Opulent and it's a beautiful navy blue shade. We're doing something a little bit darker because after all, it is Halloween, we are in spooky season. I'm just gonna carve out a cat eye shape and we're gonna kind of make this a graphic eyeshadow look. I'm really loving how pigmented this eyeshadow is. It's very easy to blend, easy to work with, and um, I can't wait to see the finished look. I'm going to bring the shade Opulent on the outer corner of my eye and on the inner corner so we can create a halo within this graphic cat eye. I'm also going to take that shade Opulent and run that right along my lower lash line. Now for the halo effect in our graphic cat eye, we're going to go ahead and take the shade Luxurious Luster. I'm going to use my finger and I'm just going to put this right in the middle of the eye. Do we? That's so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Obsessed. Go ahead and take your favorite black eyeliner and line the waterline. To finish up this eye look, pair with your favorite mascara and lashes. Okay, so now that we're looking fabulous, let's dive into the first look. We're gonna do the devil look. When I tell you it is so easy, come on, let's do this. So take your favorite black eyeliner, and to do the devil horns above our eyebrows, you're gonna do three dots, and that's gonna help you so much with placement. I'm gonna place the first dot where the arch of my eyebrow is, so here. Then I'm gonna place the second dot closer to the beginning of my brow. And then I'm gonna place a third dot right kind of like above the second dot so let's do that on the other side first dot above the arch then second dot closer and then third dot here okay so now we have a map of where the horns are gonna be so you're gonna take that black eyeliner and you're just gonna connect the dots literally how easy how easy was that it doesn't get any simpler it doesn't get any simpler than that I'm gonna go ahead and just like fill in the tips of the horns a little bit with the black, like a little bit of shading. Now we're gonna do the tail. So you're gonna take your black eyeliner and go at the corner of your eye. And you can make this fun, you can keep this tail straight, but I'm gonna do a little loop with an arrow. Cute, 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 cute. Now we're gonna add some red. I'm actually gonna be using lipstick for this. I'm taking the Fenty Icon Lipstick in the shade MVP. And now we're just literally gonna go over everything we did in the black eyeliner. Super cute and so easy. So easy to achieve. Now for the lips, again, take your preferred black eye pencil and we're gonna do use it as a lip liner and line the lips. Now it's time for some lipstick, taking the same Fenty Icon lipstick in the shade MVP. We're gonna go ahead and just fill in our lips and we should get a beautiful gradient. I mean guys, look at the look. You guys, here's a completed look. How easy was this look? I mean, it was almost way too easy. We have the horns, we have the tail and a beautiful ombre lip and we're good to go, that was it. Also, quick tip, the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Setting Spray is gonna be perfect to lock in those Halloween looks the whole night. I wasn't kidding when I said the looks were gonna be easy, so let us get into the next look. I'm so excited, we're gonna be doing a skull. All right, time to dive into look two. We're doing the skull, I'm so excited. Friendly reminder that you can use these items from Ipsy or whatever you have in your makeup collection. To start off this look, I'm going to kind of cancel out my lips using, you can use foundation or concealer. I'm just gonna take a brush over my lips just to cancel out some of the pinkness that I have. Once that's done, I'm gonna sweep some powder over the lips to set that in place. So we're gonna start with the lips, and you can take your preferred 
black eyeliner and we're gonna get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is place the eyeliner between my lips and create a line. I'm gonna go ahead and extend that line from the corner of my mouth. Now to add some further details to the lips, we're gonna start creating vertical lines. I'm gonna start in the very center. Now that we have the details of the teeth pretty much done, we're gonna go ahead and start accentuating our cheekbone. So you wanna start right where the top of your ear is. So it creates a more hollow looking effect. I actually just had a wonderful idea. I'm gonna take the Eloise Goddess palette and I'm gonna use the shade Opulent and use that for shading in the cheekbone. Now it's time for the nose. I'm taking a black eyeliner and I'm gonna do just the bottom of the nose here. I'm gonna make a nice round shape. And then we're gonna go up, come down like a U, but make the other side shorter. And there we have our nose. So I'm gonna take the shade Opulent with a small brush and just kind of create a nice border on the inside of that line we drew. For the very center of the nose, I'm gonna take the shade Luxurious Luster and I'm just gonna rub that right on the center of the nose. This looks so good! To kind of tie this whole look in together, we have to do something about our eye section here. So I'm gonna create sort of a angry expression. I'm taking the eyeliner and I'm gonna go ahead and take start from the beginning of my brow and swoop in. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take a small brush and start to blend that upward and blend the inside of the swoop. I'm just adding some depth by going over that swoop line again and just gonna further blend things out. You guys, this looks so good. So here we have the completed skull look. Can you believe how easy it was to achieve both of these looks? I mean, come on. Such great ideas for some last minute Halloween looks. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching again. You can use these products from Ipsy or whatever you have in your makeup collection. Don't forget to subscribe to Glam Bag and BoxyCharm in the link down below and drop some comments. What are we gonna be for Halloween this year? See you next time, bye.